<sighs> Bit right than in, I always say. And unfortunately for everyone involved, that includes today's tech news. That was barely Shrek. That was good. I, honestly, I heard Shrek, but I also heard a crazy guy would have. <laughs> China has quietly made progress on one of the hardest problems in modern chip making, extreme ultraviolet lithography. According to a Reuters investigation, researchers at a high security lab in Shenzhen have built a prototype EUV lithography machine, a device essential for producing advanced semiconductors and long monopolized by the Dutch company ASML. They love monopoly. These are massive, delicate, wildly expensive systems, and no company outside of the Netherlands has successfully built one until now, kind of. And maybe not really. China's prototype already generates EUV light and reportedly fills nearly an entire factory floor, although it has not yet produced working chips. To make this happen, China recruited former ASML engineers, many of them Chinese born and recently retired, offering them massive signing bonuses and housing incentives. One engineer reportedly arrived on his first day of work and was handed a fake ID with a new false name on it. And when he went in the doors, he discovered a bunch of his old coworkers, all with snazzy new names too. Bill, it's Jeremy now. Me too, we're all Jeremy. <laughs> Apparently everyone was instructed to go by their new aliases and to never acknowledge the project outside of the compound. To make things even more interesting, it kind of sounds like this is a skunk works project with China buying up parts from older ASML machines in used markets to get around all those pesky export controls. Now if this scheme works out, it would be kind of wild because it's basically the plot of the red movies, the retired black ops agents replaced by semiconductor equipment engineers. The only thing these operatives are assassinating is the US hegemony. Okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> the global RAM shortage being driven largely by AI companies buying up massive amounts of memory is about to push PC and smartphone prices higher. And it doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon. An IDC market analysis warns that the crunch could last well into 2027 and that major PC and phone makers are already preparing further price increases as the memory supply tightens. Apparently, Apple and Samsung are a bit insulated from all this because they secure their RAM 12 to 24 months in advance, so they probably won't increase their prices because they would have no reason to do that just because every other company in the market is doing that, right? All this pressure to get RAM is causing some wacky behavior in enthusiast spaces, as older CPUs like AMD's Ryzen 7 5800X3D are now selling on eBay for way more than newer chips, simply because they let people use the only only slightly cheaper DDR4 memory. Yet this memory shortage hasn't stopped NVIDIA from releasing its RTX Pro 5000 Blackwell GPU with a massive 72 gigabytes of GDDR7 targeting AI developers, data scientists, and creative professionals. On Monday, we covered rumors that NVIDIA was slowing production of its lower to mid-tier 5000 series gaming GPUs, and we kind of joked that it was because they were moving the GDDR7 RAM from those cards into more expensive products. Well, I guess we now know where all the RAM went. Ooh, ah, I'm over here. Ah, can't catch me. Apple has announced sweeping changes to iOS that are legitimately big in Japan. As of this week, iPhone users in Japan can officially sideload apps, meaning developers can distribute apps outside the App Store using alternative marketplaces like Alt Store. This comes as part of Apple's effort to comply with Japan's new competition rules and is only the latest example of regulators forcing a crack into Apple's famously locked down ecosystem. That said, this is still Apple, so the freedom comes with fine print. Apple will continue collecting fees on third-party in-app payments and even on web purchases tied to iOS apps. Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney has of course already criticized the changes, arguing that Apple is still taxing developers even when it is no longer providing distribution or payment processing, an accusation Apple is happy to lean into. The tech giant's updated developer agreement gives the company new powers to recover unpaid fees owed by devs who had the gall to conduct their business outside of Apple's holy dominion. I see what you have hidden. Your every atom cries out for penitence. So while this is ultimately progress, 
It's a little bit more of a sour apple than a sweet one, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a sweet apple? <laughs> well, that'll be our sponsor. Ugreen and their NAS DH4300 Plus. This bad boy is chunky, with storage space of up to 120 terabytes and a big old compatibility list for third-party hard drives. What? You don't think you can handle that? Well, guess what? Even as a beginner, you can set up and use the Ugreen NAS easily with its step-by-step -step system guide. You might as well call those other NASs just plain nasty, because the DH4300 Plus comes with a built-in AI smart recognition and classification function to identify and classify photos of people, places, animals, you name it. <gasps> when you're done that, this thing easily connects to Google Drive to upload and download files fast, because it comes equipped with a two and a half gigabit ethernet port. However, you best believe that all of your data is stored locally in your own drives. You're not uploading it to a stinky old cloud. It's all just for you. So thanks to Ugreen for sponsoring this video. Check them out at the link below and get 15% off on the DH4300 Plus and the Ugreen NAS series until the 28th. Ogres are like onions. And so are the quick bits. They have layers and sometimes they make you want to cry. <laughs> Riot Games has discovered a critical motherboard flaw that lets hardware level cheats slip in and activate before anti-cheat software even wakes up. The bump in the night was real. The issue affects boards from Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, and ASRock, where a security feature called IOMMU isn't fully initializing at boot, despite looking like it is. Riot worked with manufacturers to push BIOS updates, and now Valorant players who don't update their systems will be blocked with a van restriction, meaning that your account will be flagged for using cheater-adjacent hardware. Oh yeah, what about innocent until proven guilty, huh? Some legal system! Sir, this is a hero shooter. LG has backed down after TV owners freaked out when a Microsoft Copilot app suddenly appeared on their home screens and could not be uninstalled. Well, LG has heard their cries and says it will allow users to delete Copilot if they want. Although they also clarified that it was only a browser shortcut, not a built-in app. <laughs> All this fuss over a little shortcut, don't you feel silly? No, actually, turns out quietly injecting an AI chatbot into a device people use to watch movies was not the vibe. Several popular browser extensions with more than 8 million installs have been quietly harvesting users full AI conversations and selling them for marketing purposes. Security researchers found the extensions inject scripts directly into sites like ChatGPT, Claude from Anthropic, Gemini, Copilot, and, and those other ones, and record everything that gets said, even worse. Many of these extensions were labeled featured in Chrome and Edge stores. So yeah, that random free VPN you were using for therapy time with your AI girlfriend might have actually been recording the whole time. Maybe you can ask them to send it to you. You remember the good times. Amazon caught a North Korean infiltrator working in its IT systems thanks to something almost invisible, typing lag. Security teams noticed keystrokes from a supposedly US-based worker were taking over 110 milliseconds to reach Seattle, way longer than expected, and definitely something that would show up in their performance review. But really, that tiny delay suggested the laptop was being controlled from halfway across the world. Amazon traced the activity, confirmed it was part of a North Korean remote work scheme, and kicked the contractor out within days. I knew some companies were tracking their employees, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> and a Chinese tech company called Limex Dynamics just showed off Tron 2, a robot that appears to consist of a waist torso module thing with two limbs that can be swapped between having legs or arms depending on the job, but not both. Full robot bodies are so 2025. The launch video shows the robot lifting stuff and doing a variety of tasks, but despite its cool and original Tron name, there's no Daft Punk or Nine Inch Nails score, unfortunately. It doesn't even leave a neon solid light trail behind it wherever it goes, even when the disembodied robot hips are clearly in its weird doing the splits on rollerblades light cycle mode. But if none of that has you sold, wait till you see this half humanoid perform some very inhumanoid, uh, Rollerblade somersaults? Is it? Is this like? Is this like it's mating ritual or something? What even? Whatever it is, it's working. Hey, what are you doing in my swamp? You can't rollerblade here. That's it for today's tech news. Now get out of here. We'll see. Oh, I think I was still supposed to be doing the accent there, but it's okay.